So when I'm gonna cut my new breakaway rope off, I don't wanna just unravel it and start roping with it. I kinda have a process that I wanna do before I ever use that rope at all. So I'll unravel them, and then here in a second, I'll show you how I stretch them. So when your rope gets pulled up when it's brand new, depending on how long it sits, sometimes it helps to put a stretch on them so that all the fibers kind of align and, and all the kinks get worked out that they might have had when they were hanging. So what I do is I find a pipe or something solid and I make sure that when I, when I stretch this, I'm stretching through that eye. But I wanna unravel this rope as straight as I can and not let any turns be in there. And I don't wanna put too big of a stretch on it because I don't wanna make them too limber, but Personally, I just like to get it put a few good stretches on it. Then my personal thing that I'm big on is that I don't want to recoil that rope after I stretch it from the, from the um, bottom of it. I'm going to start right here at the hondo, turn it the way I want it to turn, which I like my hondo to kick a little bit to the inside and that rope be to the outside. And I'll coil it back in big coils so that any impurities, I try to run it out the end of the rope. Now, I'll take that rope right there and get it perfect, just like that, and I'll set it somewhere cool or, or dry in my tack room or on the barn floor or somewhere, and I'll let it sit like that for a little bit before I ever cut it off. So, after your rope's set for at least a couple hours, I like to, to say, um, and let those fibers go back after you stretch it. Then I'll, I'll measure it out. I have mine marked. I keep a few different size ropes in my can. Um, so if I'm gonna go somewhere to a jackpot where the calves are slow, or I see the calves are slow, I'll have a shorter rope. I usually am always at least 22 foot long. Um, sometimes for my rodeo ropes, when I know I'm gonna be reaching, I'll keep them a little bit longer. Um, today we'll kind of meet right in the middle. We'll go with, uh, we'll go, we'll cut it at 24. You need to get yourself some handy little cutter things that are obviously cut too many ropes because they're not very sharp anymore. Um, so I cut it at 24, but I will unravel this one back to say just a little over 23 foot by the time I tie it off. And then all I do is tie it in a knot and pull all the strands down tight. And then once you get these tight, you'll cut the excess off and then tie your flag right here and you're done. So the last step is just to tie your breakaway flag on. So tighten it down, it's pretty easy. Um, the thing that I'll do that I'm really particular about is once I cut, stretch this rope, cut it, put it in my can, I won't use this rope to rope the dummy. Um, not repetitively. I might bring it out and rope it once or twice if I need to do it or give it like a re-stretch. If sometimes, if you use rope a couple times and it gets drugged down the arena, sometimes if it sits in your can and you pull it out, you might give it a light re-stretch and it makes it just feel a lot smoother and have a little bit of better tip weight. But definitely don't abuse these ropes on, on the dummy. You wanna save your rodeo ropes for your rodeo runs. And then after you're done with the rodeo ropes, then you can torture those on the dummy because it just, sometimes roping the dummy with them puts a little bit of a kink to a rope. So I hope this video helped you guys out and answered any questions you had about how to prepare your ropes.